Shalom, shalom. We give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and shalom to the elect that's pushing out this word in sincerity and, and in truth in the Holy Spirit. Um, Yahweh be in the Heavenly Father's name. In the ancient Lashawan Kodash, Yahweh Shai being his only begotten son who the world called Jesus. In these last days, in these last times, before the end, before the end gets ushered in through the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai, uh, we speak to the nation of Israel, so called black, Latinos, and Native Americans, to wake up the elect, fish for the elect. Before the hunting season comes, before the Lord comes, before destruction comes. And we speak to our people, we speak to all our people, and whoever the lot falls on, it falls on. In our nation, there are two-thirds of the nation of Israel who will not be saved. They won't receive salvation. The Lord calls them whited sepulchers and we're going to get into this whited sepulchers because these whited sepulchers a sepulcher is a grave a tomb you see when you go to a graveyard it has the family name on top whited sepulchers are full of dead men's bones as the scriptures say and we're going to read these scriptures let's get this first scripture let's get into it first book of uh, Matthew, we're going to go to Matthew 23, I'm going to start at 25, Matthew 23 and 25, it says, woe unto you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, woe means destruction, woe unto the scribes and Pharisees, says, hypocrites, actors, say one thing and do another, it says, for you make clean the outside of the cup. And of the platter, but within they, but within they are full of extortion and excess, excess, extortion. Well, the, the scribes and the Pharisees were hypocrites. They were the nation of Israel. They were Israelites. The Lord said, "You make clean the outside of the cup. You play the part. You look the part. You speak like the part. You are the part, but." You, your insides, your spirit, the way you conduct yourself is full of extortion and excess. Let's look up this word extortion in the Greek. When you look up extortion, full of extortion, and you make the outside look good. Extortion, the act of plundering and robbery, plunder and spoil. Like a, like an Israelite, we know he's an Israelite, named Creflo Dollar. You have a pastor named Dollar, last name Dollar. You should beware of him. You should beware of a pastor that says Dollar, and he's speaking about a prosperity. And on this earth, in this life, when you give to the Lord, you get back riches in this life. This is a whited sepulcher of no value. He looks good. He plays the part. $2,000 suits, business jets, airplanes, jet setting from city to city, country to country. He look and play the part, but he's full of excess and extortion. You don't need a $2,000 suit. You don't need a $60 million plane. He said his, his, his schedule uh, cannot be accommodated by commercial airlines. So he needs a $60 million plane, $65 million plane, and he wants his parishioners, his flock, to finance it. That's extortion and excess. When he speaks not the truth. On top of that, 
he speaks not the truth. Just put up a video to the Akim where he said, Satan wants you to keep the law. When you keep the law, like Satan wants you to do, you break the law. That's a double-sided, twisted, twisted mouth bastard of a man to say something like that. We know that the, the, the law is good. It's good for the nation of Israel. This is our covenant, that we would keep his commandments. This is the whole duty of man, according to the book of Daniel, 12th chapter. What is he speaking about? Full of extortion and excess. Isaiah 55. And seven. It says, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, because these are his thoughts to speak this way, to cheat his people, to extort, rob, pillage, plunder them. It says, and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power he will. For he will abundantly pardon. You think. Creflo would do this? You think two-thirds of our people would do this? No, they can't. The scripture is already set. The script is already written. These people will die for the sins. For their sins. For their robbing, robbing their people. Another brother, polite. Another Israelite, polite. You heard. You heard about the stories, robbing people off his website and his uh, um, sovereignty package. He had a sovereignty package where you would pay him. He would give you the, the, the paperwork set up so you can be sovereign here in the United States. A slave being sovereign, paying for your freedom. Well, you're a slave here in America. There's no freedom for you. The only person that can relieve you of your bondage is Yahweh Shai. Through Yahweh Shai. No man can save you. No man can make you sovereign in another man's kingdom. You don't understand this? I knew a person who went tax-free and you know, was with, uh, what's his name, Malachi Z. York. He was, made himself sovereign. Five years, not paying a tax. No, no income tax being, uh, no, no income tax being paid. He was a truck driver, so he was self-employed. Didn't pay no taxes. Guess what? Guess who knocked on his door? Mr. IRS, Uncle Sam, his goddamn self. Guess what he had with him? <laughs> a bag, an empty bag, wanting you to fill it up with what you owe him. You can't become sovereign in another man's kingdom while you are a slave. These are physicians. These are people. These are sepulchers. White it but of no value. Jeremiah 4 and 14. It says, O Jerusalem, wash thy heart. The heart is love in the Hebrew. It means your mind from wickedness. Wash your mind from wickedness that thou may be saved. You need to get up about this frame of mind. That you can do it yourself. That you can get out your own captivity. Who put you in this captivity? The person who put you in the captivity is the only one with the keys to, to release you from jail. To release you from your captivity. Shackled. This is your how about Shimei was shy. He's the only one with the keys to release you from your captivity. Because he's the one that put you there. 
and your wickedness. It says, how long should thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? They stuck, seared with a hot iron in your mind that you could release yourself. Just like that sepulcher. And we're going to get back into it. Um, uh, Matthew, back Matthew 23 and 26. It says, Thou blind Pharisees, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, right? That's within yourself. That the outside of them may be clean also. You can't wash one without the other. You wash your face and don't brush your teeth. Like Red Fox said, get up and wash your, you already know. It says, woe unto you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For you are like the whited sepulchers, which indeed appear beautiful outward because you play the part, you wear the suit, you look good, you got the churches, you got the fly, you look good. You got the mega churches, the mega buildings, the gator suits, gated shoes, limousines, airplanes, jets. You look good on the outside. You speak well, but are within full of dead man's bones and all and of all uncleanliness. Why? Uncleanliness, uncleanness, because you're not speaking the truth. You're not telling the people the truth. You out for gain and excess and extortion. We could go on and on about how our people, our leaders, have become what? Dumb dogs that don't bark, right? And rob the people. Tell and speak to people lies. Speak to the people lies. Yes, all we have to do is integrate with these uh, uh, captors and our plight will be better. Quoted by all the civil rights from Martin Luther King on down. We need to separate from our oppressors. How are you going to gain anything by begging your oppressor for release? Oh, like, like when you get uh, locked up. What Jake always say, oh, the handcuff's too tight. Do, do they release it? Do they loosen them up? Hell no, they make them tighter. Then throw you in the back of the car, bump your head, throw you in the back of the car, vomit and piss and shit all on the back of the seat. They're not relieving you. But our people, our leaders, this is what they want us to do. Black Lives Matter. Let's march. Let's go to the Capitol and protest to your oppressor. He's going to just let you go. These are sepulchers full of dead man's bones. It says, even so, you also outwardly appear righteous unto men, right? But within you are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because you build the tombs of the prophets. Well, what does it mean you build the tombs of the prophets? You the one set it up. You the one made these things happen, made these situations occur. Like what did Martin Luther King say? I believe that I brought my people into a burning house. See, you set it up. You made these things happen. You wanted us to integrate, and what it what it lead our people? No jobs, no 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 businesses, and you further what the what the scriptures say in Deuteronomy that you would go to the want to the to the to the other nations for the want of all things. You made this happen. You furthered our plight. You build the tombs of the prophets. You made this happen. When you erect 
you build, you make it, you establish. Another word when you look it up, it says embolden. When you look up the word embolden, right? You give someone the courage to do something, like march across the bridge in Selma. And at the other foot of the bridge, what happened? You got your head bashed in by the white racist cops. S uh, and your dogs sat, uh, got sick on you. See, you was, you was pleading to your oppressor for relief from his oppression. You gave the people encourage. You gave the, the people encouragement to behave in a certain way. You inspired them. You encouraged them, right? But not in the truth. Not in the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You're supposed to, as a leader, right? As a shepherd of a people, you're supposed to promote growth in this truth of ours. Wisdom, grace, and virtue. Holiness, being separate from these people and, and, and attaching yourself to the law, statute, commandments to the best of your ability through faith. This is what you're supposed to promote. This is what you're supposed to inspire your people towards. This is what you're supposed to encourage your people towards. Not to be with the other nations who've been oppressing you makes no sense. Why would you be a company uh, with dogs? You lie down with dogs, right? What you going to receive? His ways. This is the state of our people today. So this is why our people, two-thirds of our nation, and, and, and those wicked who are slotted for destruction, is going to receive that lot. Because they they rather follow the ways of unrighteousness and wicked leaders instead of following the ways, statutes, and commandments that was laid out through you, through, for you through faith, like Abraham, to be faithful. Promote growth amongst your people, not moral decay, not spiritual decay. This is what our people need. Don't just look good on the outside and out comes your mouth, bones and deceits and lies. What's not holy and good for our people. You killed the prophets, so you're going to receive the lot of your fathers because you are your fathers. Don't be a whited sepulcher of no value. Shalom.